has great processing power and storage, which enable it to perform complex functions, and it is the closer to the consumer and in hand when needed. This proximity to the user makes smartphone uh, health apps available to the user, not only when the user needs these apps, but also when these apps need the user input by pushing reminders and notifications. <coughs> smartphone uptake is growing globally, it is accounted for uh, about 88% of uh, smartphone ownership in Australia, and it's also 80 at 88% in Singapore. The most popular device is uh, Apple iPhone in both countries. In 2012, most of the available small precision apps in Apple App Store and Android market were of low quality. Uh, for example, none of the identified apps provided information about uh, nicotine replacement therapy, for example. In addition, in 2012, uh, we found that 107 pro smoking apps teaching users how to smoke in an interactive way and some claim that it could help in quitting smoking. We published this paper last uh, in 2012 in Tobacco Control Journal. So in the visibility study, we are uh, actually interested to know if a smoker really search for and download smoking cessation apps and use them and the characteristics of those users. In addition, uh, some other usability indicators. So we can target this user later in the efficacy study. Uh, this is a cross-sectional study of a smartphone uh, smoking station app released in Apple Store and Android market. For, user, uh, for adult user consumer in those stores, this is one of the first studies that recruit participants directly from app stores. We've used their unique device identifier to register that participants in our database. This will prevent duplication as each device has only one chance of being in our database and also will allow anonymous data collection. In five months, uh, 451 participants downloaded the app. We haven't used any advertisement method to promote the app. So, uh, the up to the, the, most of the downloads were from Singapore at 69%. This is mainly because of the app ranking process uh, in each country. So, our app was ranked among the top 25 apps in Singapore Apple App Store, but not in Australia. Uh, to know more about this process, you could look at our recently published paper in Tobacco Control Journal titled Pro Smoking Apps where uh, people are most at risk. Most of the downloads were from Apple devices too, in both countries with no differences. 31% of the participants completed the questioning. We have been able to increase the uh, response rate to about 80% in another smartphone screening for depression by introducing the function that reminds the participant to complete the questioning. Uh, there were some differences in the demographics between participants in both countries, especially in their distribution. For smoking indicators, 73% uh, attempted to quit last year uh, in, uh, without differences between countries. Uh, we have used uh, the criteria of 24 hours of not even a single buff of smoking, of smoking as a uh, quitting attempt. Majority of participants willing to quit within the next 30 days. This is the preparation stage three. 48% uh, have used smoking cessation app in the past and about 50% of them have actually attempted to quit using these apps. Uh, most of the participants never contacted their healthcare professionals about their quitting in the last year and also most of them never contacted uh, quitline services. So those participants may be looking for self-help without a human contact. Um, we, we just presented here the uh, related, uh, smoking related indicators, but uh, a full paper will be published next month in the Journal of Medical Internet Research and Health. So in the efficacy study, it's a randomized controlled trial using the same recruitment method uh, for adult participants uh, who are daily smokers in Apple Store only as our visibility study showed that Android users 
were less likely to download smoking station app. Not only in Australia and Singapore, but in other country, countries where uh, Android uptake is higher than iPhone uptake, like the US. We released one app that contained the eligibility and baseline questionnaire, and two sub apps, the control and the intervention. We will register, after the first step is to register that participant in our database the first time they open the app, and then they will be directed to the eligibility and baseline questionnaire. After filling the baseline questionnaire, they will be randomly allocated based on uh, block randomization to be equal demographic, demographics to the control or the intervention app. The intervention app includes information about smoking, quitting options, and a group of uh, self-help evidence-based function that could help in uh, quitting smoking, like with the daily intervention on messages and quitting diaries. In uh, the control app, however, uh, it includes only uh, the information about smoking and the quitting options. In both apps, after reviewing the quitting options, participants will be asked which of the options they have decided to use in their quitting attempt. Then we, we, we will follow up how they act on that decision uh, on four time points, 10 days, one month, three and six months. At each follow up, we will ask them if they are still using the same quit option that they have, they have selected or not. And if not, they, uh, we will ask them about the current one. At uh, the first follow up, 10 days, we also ask participants to fill our, fill our uh, multidimensional measure of, of informed choice for smoking to assess if they have made an informed choice of quitting. We will monitor all uh, the daily use of the app and the number of times they look at the information or use the need the function in both applications. Uh, I was planning to present some data about some results, but unfortunately we were unable to release the app at the planned time, mainly because the uh, new iPhone update released in last September, so we had to redevelop the application to Thank you. Speakers are open for questions. Thank you very much for your uh, excellent presentation. Uh, I just wonder how do you face any problems in terms of recruitment or participants to join the study? It's automated uh, recruitment, so uh, we, we, don't, we didn't have any problem with recruitment. We tested the app before, uh, so there were no problems. So uh, the app will actually collect the data inside the app, and once there is an internet connection, the data will be uh, uploaded to our database automatically. So well, this is an automated, so we don't have any contact with the participant in both study the uh, RCT and the visibility study. So it's totally automated studies. Can I ask a question about that? So is this what the, you know, when you download an app, you, you say, I agree on all the stuff that they want and all your privacy that you give away. And so yours is just one little line in that whole list of things that I agree to and I don't know that I'm in a study or? So, um, app stores are only concerned about technical uh, Compatibility. So when we submit the app to the Apple App Store and the Android Market, the only thing they will check if that app is compatible with their technical um, technical guidelines. And uh, we have actually presented our um, participant information and consent in three places inside the app. Uh, I mean, is, is your CMA, I suppose you passed your medical ethics committee and they... Yes. It's, it's, it's the regular procedure, but only now in an app. So, uh, the last section is about uh, actually include all the participant information sheet and the consent. At the same page where you download the app, there is also information about the study and the consent. And it's in the legal, uh, the third place, it's in the legal terms and conditions using the app. So, you can customize the terms and condition for your app or just use the, uh, the app store default template. But do you think that most of your respondents will have checked the way I check when I, I know I'm giving everything away and I, but I need the app so I just say agree? Or will you have gone through your nice informed consent like 
we don't actually know, but we've, we've actually tried to give them all the information in different places, and they have it inside the app all the time. So they can just put on the about button so you get the uh, information sheet and uh, all the other stuff. Well, it sounds like a fantastic opportunity for researchers. So it's a totally automated process where you don't have any contact with the participant. The unique device identifier actually prevent uh, duplications. And in the next study, we are also implementing another functions to pre prevent uh, contamination. If I could ask um, a, a quick question. Um, I have an MPH student who's um, also planning to do a, a similar sort of evaluation of a, a, a quick smoking app in the UK. Um, and from what I can see, that one of the main quality criteria in smoking cessation studies is um, validation of the quick rate using um, monitoring so yeah, carbon monoxide monitors and things. But obviously, you couldn't do that using this process. So yes, uh, there, there's either a silky board or uh, uh, shaking the breath to for the monoxide. So, the, but um, yeah, we uh, we can't. Uh, because this is a cross country study. So we have uh, this app in the US, UK, uh, Australia, Singapore, and India at the same time. And they also the one the most control trial will be in about six countries. So, because yeah. I mean, one potential way of, of addressing that validity issue may be like to to do a, a more intensive study in one country to validate your quit rate um, by actually approaching the individuals or doing it through a stop and smoking cessation clinic. Yeah, actually the um, accuracy of self-reported quit rate is about between 70 and 80 percent. That's a literature review um, a few years ago, so we think this is yeah. but Would you expect it to be different between the two arms of your trial? Because if they both answer the questions just as poorly. Um. It's a self report it's um, a, yeah, we, we that's that's the part of the best thing that we can do. Yeah, it's a participant honesty of self report. Okay. Thank you very much and thank you everybody for this interesting session and discussion. And we have a couple of